Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 135 in Best Fiends after I pick up my 200 free Meteor Mites and my 10 free medals on my VIP tour here. So let's jump in and see what we've got to do at Seaside Surf. We've got to defeat six slugs, collect 70 purple and 80 blue. And it looks like we get a lot of purple and blue on this board. Plus, we can bring in Brittle and Edward, and they help us with that collection because they'll give us converters. Plus, I've got this guy. Who knows what he's going to give me? All right. I like the setup. Of course, I don't think it would change much if I moved things around. I will use my friends that bring in converters instead of trying to get them to give me bombs. I'm waiting to see what these guys will give. Just colors. Uh, but they're giving probably purple and blue. So they're going to be changing things. I've got to get through these seashells. These seashells are a pain. And if I can get through the seashells and unslime some things, that is good. This is going to be a permanent barrier for me. Not a fan of it, but look at this. I'm getting some of that green cleared out. I thought I was going to get a reshuffle there. Um, yeah, I only have one move I can make. So let's make that move. And now I've got to collect some slugs too, but I haven't had really a lot of chances to uh, decide what to do. I'm just kind of doing what's available on the board. We'll have to wait and see if we can get things working out better together for that. Still, nothing good. I'm going to take this. The blue is better than the green because it does take care of those shells. And now I've got more space on the board. Now I can actually put some green together and uh, work on getting that bomb meter filled. Not much to do. It looks like this yellow is it. So this is really down to how things start in the beginning, I think. Now I can come through and get all this blue. That's going to help put the purple together. It's going to take out some of these shells. And it's going to give me a converter. Poorly placed converter because I was trying to get that purple together. And now it's not quite so together. I still have a lot of slug power to get through. But once I get these converters going, I think we'll see a difference here. Should I take out the green? Because that converter isn't in a good spot. I'm going to do that. I'm trying to get Vincent to help me out here. Let's convert things now. Which is my best path? I think if I do this... I can at least grab that guy there and come around this way. All right, Slugmageddon, I finally get rid of that slug. I've got another converter, but I probably need to worry about getting a purple converter as well. So I'll get this purple, make a converter, and bring this converter into the better area. He's converting things for me. I'm not thrilled with that. I don't want him to. It's making me upset. All right, I'll take this so I can wend around this way and reach all the way down here. That gives me most of that slug defeated already. Brings this converter down so I have a better shot at things. And let's see where I want to go with this. So that way I would be leaving some things behind. If I go straight this way, I can reach over here first and then sneak over on this side and collect everything. There we go. And that's helping me now get through here. Now I've got yellow as a slug. I don't have a lot of yellow to clear out though. And I don't really need a lot of yellow to clear out. I mean, Jojo, well, he's not too far away. It just doesn't seem like the best plan for me. Do I want to take green? which will give me 43, plus put the converter together with the blue. Do I want to take out three yellow, which only gives me 26, or do I want to focus on the blue this way? I'm going to go for the green. I'm going to try to grab as much of this green as I can, so I'm going to go around that way. Oh, but I set the converter off wrong by doing that. 
think things through, Susie. Next time, make sure that's what you want to do. I think I can collect a lot of yellow now, and I think I need slugs to help me. Or to get rid of slugs. I need to help myself get rid of slugs. There we go. All right. So that's a slug out of the way. That's more of the colors I need put together. Blue is going to be my color here. So maybe if I work on taking out a whole bunch of purple now, I can make the best use of the blue later. I can't reach those outliers. I don't think I can reach those outliers. But I don't want it to be the difference between a win and a loss, so I'm going to try different things. That just abandons this one. But if I go this way, I can come around here, and I just miss one. Yep, that's what I'm doing. That gets me 5,600. It completes almost all of my purple. And now I've got bombs that can help open things up. Not much. It gets a purple. So it helps brittle but not much. What if I do something different? Okay, so this gets two, not quite what I need. This gets a lot of points. I'm going for this one. Because this still leaves this converter and I have a better chance of getting my purple. I'm going to take my purple out now, because that's five, so that's done. And now I have two moves to try to work on everything else. Okay, that gets me a lot, plus it should get me another converter. As long as the converter lines up where I can get it matched with blue, I should be okay. There we go. So that's six, and that's enough. Just enough, but enough. On the first playthrough, so I'm fine with that, as long as I get it done. All right, and then I get my little extra rewards here. And I get my keys. I have six. Oh, uh, no jackpot this time, but 15 diamonds is beautiful. All right, there we go. So if this was helpful, I would ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Next time, we might, might, might get our Frozen Hills tour completely done. So please join me for that. Bye-bye.